Hey Church, we are so excited and pumped about this month of miracles and praying, fasting together. I hope uh, your prayer and fasting is going well and we want to thank you for standing with us for everything that we're believing for as a church. Today we're going to invite you to pray for our campus in Geneva. The Bible says this in Colossians chapter 4 verse 3, pray for us too that God may open the door for our message so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ. Let's pray for God to open the door for our message. We, we really believe as a church that God is the God who opens doors. And we want to invite you today. Can you pray? Stand with us. Let's petition God for him to open the way for us. Geneva is an incredible international city. It's a vibrant European hub. It's a place of incredible craftsmanship and so much heritage and Christian heritage through what happened in, in the Protestant Reformation. It, it's a vibrant hub of Europe and Geneva is, is a strategic and incredibly influential city. And we're believing for audacious church in Geneva to reflect all of those things that audacious Geneva will be an important European hub. It will be a place of spiritual transformation in the lives of many people in Geneva in all of Switzerland and right across mainland Europe. It's exciting that we as Audacious Church are taking our first steps into mainland Europe. We would massively appreciate your prayers, prayers of faith today for God to make a way to open the door so that we can easily and fruitfully communicate the gospel into mainland Europe. So uh, over the last few weeks and months as we've been planning and starting in seed form Audacious Church Geneva, we we stand on the shoulders of giants through hundreds of years of Christian heritage in that city and also what Planet Shakers Church birthed there a few years ago and today we stand on the shoulders of giants. And we're believing that Audacious Church will go to the next level, that it will make a huge impact. It's been a little bit slower than we may have hoped and believed and thought in our mind. Just with many of the COVID restrictions in mainland Europe being a lot slower, further behind where we've been in the UK. But also some challenges logistically have just meant that where we're up to now, we see so much more and we are asking, church, will you pray today with us and stand with us that God will open up the doors of our message so that we can proclaim the mystery of Christ. There are people in Geneva waiting with eternity written on their hearts and yet because we're not able to do as much as we would like, they're on the edge waiting for someone to proclaim the news. And we want to be those people that go, that make a difference. So let's pray today. Let's believe for open doors. Let's believe for God to make a way. Even in areas that seem there is no way, God is going to open up the doors to audacious Geneva to become everything that we see everything that we're planning for and everything that God has ordained it to be. Here's a few prayer pointers today. Number one, visas for Tim and Frankie Atkins who are going to be our campus connect pastors. For them to be able to live and work in Geneva would be amazing. Number two, a suitable venue for our church to call home. Number three, existing church family to grow and strengthen in their relationships with each other. Let's pray that the church comes together and strong as one body. Number four, for growth for new people, specifically families, 
to come to our church, that we can have audacious kids ministry that represents our heart to raise up future generations. Number five, salvation of friends and family members and work colleagues of the people in our church. Six, finances to sustain and accelerate our vision in Geneva. And lastly, number seven, let's pray, let's believe, open doors for a city impacting, vibrant, audacious church to be established strong in Geneva. As we've seen through 15 years of building in Manchester, that we would see that in the years to come. That we would see Geneva have an audacious church that makes a real difference to the city of Geneva and beyond. Let's keep praying. Let's keep believing. Stand with us, church, through these seven points. Today, as we focus on praying for audacious church, Geneva. Let's just pray quickly together right now. God, we just make these requests known to you. We pray, God, that you would hear our prayers today, that you would uh, sense a church in Geneva that is on their knees, that we're believing, God, that we are believing and standing on your word, that you will make a way for the gospel to be shared. Open up doors. Open up new opportunities. Open up things that we are beyond all that we could think, ask or imagine. We believe, God, in years to come we will see Audacious Church Geneva being a place of strength and resource, not just for Geneva, but for the whole of Europe. And we believe that we're going to look back on days like this and be part of an incredible testimony of what God did in Europe through Audacious Church. Thank you for your, uh, the house of God. Thank you for your people. As we pray together, hear our prayers in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Let's pray today. Let's believe. Open doors.